Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hip Parade Autographed Big Box Hobby Box Series 5 Random Letter Break Number 1. We're going to go by the first letter of their last name that appears on whatever item it is. So if it's Killing Mbappe, it'll go to M. If it's Dominic Calvert-Lewin, it'll go to C. Carl Anthony Towns. Towns is actually his last name. Carl Anthony is his first name right there. So that is, uh, that'll be for T, so on and so forth. Ichiro will go to I, unless it's Ichiro Suzuki, then it'll go to S. That doesn't happen very often, but anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. There are the letters right there, including the combo letters. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and letters. Three and a four, lucky seven times. Good luck. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Adam, what's going on? We got Curtis with Last Spot Mojo on top, and Oliver's here too. He's in the bottom spot. Three and a four, seven times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, right? Yeah, seventh and final time. After seven, we got S down to K. All right, Curtis with S, Jim with A, Tom with R, SKS with J, Paul, PJ with the combo letters, Mike with F, Jeremy with G, Karen with B, Andrew with W and M. So the upside down W. Douglas with H. Sean with P. PJ with L. Mike Tower with T. If we pull a Mike Tower, that'll go right to you, Mike. Drew with D. Victor with C. Bennett with E. And Oliver with K. So let's sort this alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to maybe alleviate some letter anxiety for some people. We'll look up what you could possibly get. And I'm going to go grab the box itself. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no deals done, and everyone was comfortable with their letters. So th that list that you saw on the previous screen is now printed out, official, hot off the presses. And thanks, everyone, for making it happen. All right, here it is. Let's see what we got. Let's grab the knife. Yeah, we can play some Who Am I? America's favorite game. America's favorite game. I give you the clues. You maybe give me some answers. So here is, this item's really heavy back here. I don't know what that is. One, two, three, four, and five. Empty box, just a little more brown paper on the bottom. And a pen. There's a ball, ballpoint pen inside that box too. Woo. When the hip parade people are packing this up, they, they left a pen in there. All right, let's do let's do this. Uh, let's do this first. Do they have a name on here? No, we're we just gonna have to guess. Well, the name's on the bottom in there. Okay. 
Got it. Who am I? Let's quick round of who am I. All right, who am I? I am a retired quarterback. 72 years old right now. Um, a fourth round pick. Played for one NFL team my entire career. A Super Bowl champion. An MVP in the early 80s. That same year, I was NFL Offensive Player of the Year. An All-Pro, a Hall of Famer. I have 160 touchdowns, career touchdowns. Um, over 25,000 passing yards. Also played in the CFL for a little bit with the Toronto Argonauts. Who am I? Not, not Moon. I'll, this, this might give it away. I went to college in uh, Notre Dame. Think of your, uh, and I was drafted in 1971. So think about your, your, what, your late 60s, early 70s Notre Dame quarterbacks that played for one NFL team. Well, went to the CFL first, then played, to, played with one NFL team and won a Super Bowl. You know this person. This person's... I think you should know this person right away. Also, uh, did does a lot of broadcasting. What school? Notre Dame. Notre Dame quarterbacks from the late '60s, early '70s went to the CFL first, mm -hmm. and now has a broadcasting career. Non Done a little acting. Had a horrific leg injury. Thiesman? Joe Theismann. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So there is his autograph right there. Oh, that's a cool picture. And that's a cool white. picture because because the background's in color, but he or black and white and he's in color. or uh, black and white and he's in color. That's incredible. That's a cool shot. I need artwork like that in my house. I feel like my girlfriend would even be like, "Yeah, that looks cool." It's kind of yeah, it's pretty classy. Imagine if like like Ladine yeah. Tomlinson or something like that in um, color, and then like. You know, him torching the Raiders' defense okay. in the background right here. myself for a little while. <laughs> All right, there you go. So that is for Mike Tower with the letter T. And there's also a, a Dave and Adams card inside here. You'll get that, too. All right, nice. Tag this for Mike. Nice. It's on the back table right here. All right, next thing is a jersey. Let's see if we've got a name on this jersey here. Oh, his last name's right there. Is that? Okay, there it is. All right. Who am I? I'm a retired uh I'm a retired basketball player. Played for a lot of teams in my in my career, including some teams in uh, in the early 2000s in, in Sioux Falls, Tel Aviv, Los Angeles Stars, the Orange County Maywood Buzz, the Phoenix Flame. I was an All Star in the mid uh, mid 90s and a NBA Slam Dunk Contest champion in 1992. Who am I? Born in Maui, Hawaii, 6'7", 220. 
Went to uh, went to high school out here in L.A. Dominguez High in Compton. Went to college at Cal State Fullerton and was a second round pick by the Phoenix Suns, small forward. I think this is his son's jersey in here too. Who am I? A pretty recognizable player, I think. He played mostly with the Suns. I think he had some time with the Lakers too. Yeah, he had a few years with the Lakers in the mid to late 90s. All right, so that goes to that person. Um, yeah, Oliver, you got it. I think he, I think you're right. I think he is battling the effects of COVID right now. It's been posting a lot. It's Cedric Sabalos. Get well soon, Cedric. So it's a custom jersey, so I'm not going to pull it out of here, but it's definitely Suns colors. The custom jerseys don't have any of the, uh, of the official licensing on there, but there's his autograph. There's the Sabalos on the back right there. That's Victor with the letter C. Ooh, Gladys Knight doing the, uh, doing the Monday Night Football National Anthem. No pips, though. Jersey in here. Let's see who this is. Still got it. Who am I? Baseball player this time, lefty, born in Cincinnati, lifetime 279 batting average, 305 home runs, just a little over a thousand runs batted and played for one, two, three, four teams in my entire career. Three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, uh, one with the Braves and one with the Yankees, an NL Rookie of the Year, an ALCS MVP with the Yankees back in 2000, two-time Silver Slugger. Who am I? I think he would be, I don't know, if, if a few different things went, went different ways in, the, uh, in his life, I think he, he might have been, a hall. he's in the hall of very good. Steve Birch, I think you're lagging behind. Steve Birch saying Cedric right now. We have moved on to the next item already. But the hall of very good, I want to say. Yep, Kevin, you got it. David Justice. There you go. You got the PSA sticker. David Justice is silver ink autograph right in the middle there. Got the PSA card here. There you go. It's another custom jersey, so it won't have any of the official licensing and stuff like that, but pretty nice. Got the classic Braves colors and everything, too. And that'll be for SKS. First letter, last name, J, Justice. Justice being served to Stephen. That's right, was he with Halle Berry?
All right, two more items to go. This one feels like a, a sports ball of, uh, of, some, of some kind. David Justice was one of RTR's first players you ever collected. 1991, top score, Fleer, Donruss. Hmm, I've got the name right here. Okay. Who am I? Do we have an active player this time, an active football player? I think this guy has a pretty, pretty good story, too. Um, 5'10", 185-pound um, wide receiver. No, this is wrong. I was looking up someone else. I was like, he's not a wide receiver. He's a 6'2", uh, a 220-pound two, running back. A third-round pick. Played for one team my entire career. And uh, I want to say, let's see, what, what, what else can I say without giving it away too much? Went to high school in Georgia, went to East Central College, and then Memphis for a couple of years. Drafted in the third round in 2020. Think about your third round running backs in 2020. And how did he do yesterday? Yesterday had 20 rushes for 90 yards, no TDs. Also caught a few passes for 18 yards. Okay, you can catch the ball a little bit. It's pretty solid. I think you have a really good ear. Joe Baxson's got it. It's Antonio Gibson. I like him as a running back. I think he's pretty pretty solid. I think he's pretty solid. Looks like a autographed football. Ooh, there it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's his bold silver ink autograph right there. There's his number 24. Nice football, too. There's the Beckett Authenticity sticker right there. Pretty nice. There, we've got a Beckett card right back there too. So G for Gibson. That is going to be for Jeremy Port. Oh, there's Steve Aoki. DJing. No, he's not ripping cards right now, though. That would have been good for the hobby. Come on, Steve. All right, there you go, Jeremy. Nice Antonio Gibson football. Autograph football. Ooh, that stadium looks nice with all the people in there. All right, this last item's interesting because it's it's quite heavy. What do we got in here? A brick? It's a brick. It's a brick, yeah. Hey, by the way, I think it's hilarious that uh, Rams game last night, they had Michael Buffer do the announcement. Uh -huh. And then tonight for the Raiders game, they had Bruce Buffer do it. Huh. And they hate each other. It's pretty funny. Aren't, but aren't they... They're brothers. They hate each other. Why? Well, because Bruce... Bruce has a lot of UFC Bruce stuff. Bruce is the one that stole, stole the, his... He stole the gimmick from, from Michael. Unbelievable. So it was like lawsuits and all that shit, so I'm pretty sure that they don't... They don't like, oh, boy. Let's go, Raiders. Quiet, Sean. Oh. All right. We got a brick here. Uh, who am I? Have a lifetime 262 a ba ba retired baseball player. Lifetime 262 batting average, 2,584 hits, 563 home runs, and 1,700 runs batted in.
Who am I? Hall of Famer, 14-time All-Star, 5-time World Series Champion, AL MVP, 2-time World Series MVP, 2-time Silver Slugger, so on and so forth. Nancy, this is break one, by the way. Who am I? An a AL RBI leader, four-time AL home run leader. Someone's got to be able to get this. First ballot Hall of Famer, 93.6% of the vote in the early 90s. Yeah, there we go. Sport Ports got it. It's Reggie Jackson. So it, it is a brick. So what did Reggie Jackson do with this brick here? Mariota in there. Ooh, nice Mariota. Oh, keep going Mariota. Protect the ball Mariota. No, it's fumbled. I think it was down already. So where did he sign this? Oh, okay. So there's the autograph right on the brick. I don't know what this, where this brick is from. But there's his autograph right there, right on the brick. And all the uh, authentication right here as well. Let's actually look this up. Go to MLB.com slash authentication. Oh, that's exactly what I'm doing, Oliver. Uh, let's see. We're on the same page there. HZ55 1868. Uh, letter J, that's another J, by the way, for uh, Stephen Surrey. That's for you. Oh, it's a, uh, I think it's a piece of, it says, event, Steiner Yankee brick. Brick from Palette EK33485. Here, I'll just switch right here. You'll see it right there. And um, so that's the brick. And then I guess David Adams authentication, and then Reggie Jackson signed it afterwards. So maybe it's the old, yeah, I think SKC might be right. Might, might be old stadium. Either way, really cool. There you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Big Box number one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.